Jeremiah chapter 44, and we're going to look at 45, which only is about five verses. But in chapter 44, God begins to deal with a remnant of the Jews, a remnant of Israel that has fled to Egypt for safety. And here's the thing. They think they can run. They think they can hide. They think somehow they can escape God's retribution by fleeing to Egypt. But there's nowhere you can hide from God. There's nowhere you can run from him. He sees everything. He knows everything. And he responds to them as they are worshiping the false gods of Egypt. And God says this will end well. It won't end well for those who turn away from God and flee to Egypt. Egypt has always been a place in Scripture of a place of bondage and sin. So God's going to deal with the, those who have fled into Egypt. And then in chapter 45, God speaks very specifically to one individual. L let me share a couple of verses. It says, The word of Jeremiah, the prophet, spoke to Baruch, the son of Neri, who he had written these words in a book at the instruction of Jeremiah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. So in this verse, you've got this scribe that works for Jeremiah. And he's feeling low, he's feeling down, he's feeling like God has deserted him. And what's interesting about chapter 45 is God takes time in this chapter, just five verses, to speak to one individual. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, to you, O Baruch. So here's the thing. God is interested in just one person, and he takes time to speak to him into his situation, into his problems, into his feeling abandoned and left behind. So always remember that God's very interested, not just in the masses, not just in the crowds, not just in you know all the people in the world, but everyone individually. In fact, when you watch the ministry or read the ministry of Jesus Christ, he's always involved with individuals. And God does this amazing thing in chapter 45 with Baruch one person. He comes to him. He speaks to him. He gives him hope. He gives him a future. God is the God of the individual heart, and he speaks to Baruch. And I believe that he'll speak to you. He'll speak to me because God is always interested in the individual, not just the crowd, not just all the people in the world, but in you personally. And he cares about what you're going through. It's demonstrated for us, it's seen for us in chapter 45 in the book of Jeremiah. 44 and 45, we're getting near the end, but God is dealing with those who've gone to Egypt and he's dealing with one person specifically who feels like he's been abandoned. If you feel that way, know this, that God always speaks to the individual heart. Mm -hmm.